Good morning, V. Oh, good morning, YouTube. How's everybody doing? It's Casey, the Rockstar Flipper, coming back to you on Monday, this Martin Luther King Day. Everything is closed, but you guys know no rest for the guys that want to get rich, or at least want to make good money. Um, we're going to start today off with shipping. Why not? Uh, we don't want to fall behind. I just printed out a ton of labels, and uh, it's going to be an epic shipping day because we had a bunch of orders. Even though we didn't have a huge sales weekend, um, I mean, we did okay. We'll probably end up doing like 12 or 1400 this weekend, um, Saturday, Sunday, plus whatever we do today on Monday. We have a boatload of labels. Let me show you what I mean. Look at all of these shipping labels. Look at all of them. Hold on, let me see if I can give you guys a better look this way. Check it out. So many orders to go out. Now, I know everybody asked in the comment section of my last video, why aren't you doing labels on two sides? My label paper is only one side sticky. This is sticky. This is not. So I'm only printing on one. I could get rid of this and not print this, but it's not sticky. So there's no point in putting another label on this side because then I got to tape it. It's pointless. And then the question comes, why don't I buy paper that has two sides? I have that paper. I actually have it right here. This is two sides sticky. Why aren't I using this instead of this and saving myself time or something? It's really not saving me time because it's one click. The reason is because I get this paper for free. Okay, so I get this paper. This is I'm, this is supplied to me. I'm going to use it. Once I can't get this paper anymore, then maybe I'll start using the two-sided and we'll stick two labels on it. Whatever. For right now, this is how I do it. And hopefully I won't get a thousand questions as to why I'm only printing one label. It's only one-sided sticky. So gonna get done this epic shipping these are like probably 50 60 orders here at least um and then gonna go out and make the most out of a day that everything's closed i'm not sure what's open yet so we'll have to check around but remember guys tomorrow tomorrow is big sourcing day it's uh the bins i'm gonna go to orlando and uh i'm gonna do my bin off um purchasing against nicole state tomorrow so make sure you guys tune in and check that out i'll explain to you in that video when it opens how everything is gonna work Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a few of the items we sold uh, this weekend. I'll start with the iPhone. This one ended up selling for um, for $199.99. We took a best offer. I paid $130 for it. I made like $45 or $50. Bucks. Now, I don't encourage iPhone sales, of course, um, but I knew the person. I personally knew this person. It was a, it was a friend. Uh, the phone had been deactivated, reset, cleared out. It was perfectly good took an extra good care of a clean ESN. She upgraded to another phone. So it was, it was perfectly fine that I bought this and resold it and made $40. She just wanted to get rid of it quickly to get money to get her new phone. Um, she was happy with the price. Everything was great. So that was a quick sale. Um, you know, $40, $45 profit. Um, we sold, uh, Moana. Is that how you say it? Moana, Moana, the rock, the movie guy I paid 15 for. We took a best offer of $45. Um, he was expensive to ship. He was almost five pounds with packaging. Um, so he did cost 1250 to ship, uh, FedEx smart post. Uh, he was like six, to, almost $6 in fees. It was 18 off of 45, which left us 37, which or left us 27, which was a $12 profit on the 15 I spent. I bought him tax free with my tax certificate. So $12 prop on a $15 purchase is not bad. I mean, you know, almost doubling your money, but I don't know that I want to go back and get more of him just because he's a pain to ship. If he was smaller, I would have went back and bought the other ones, but as it stands, not a bad purchase, not a bad sale. Uh, it's a cool little Patron hat, little Jester's Patron hat. We paid like a quarter for it at the bins. It sold for $8 best offer, you know, a little four or $5 profit. 
Uh, this is the brand I told you guys to look out for. This is Jack Stone by Thomas Dean. Now, I let this go for $15 because uh, I had it for a little while. It slowed down, but the last one I sold for $25. So I paid like 3 bucks for this uh, on a half-off day Salvation Army. But, um, you know, $15, i will take it. Net $10 uh, profit of, you know, $7. Bucks. The Columbia Sportswear shirt. This is the button-down one with the crazy designs on it. We took a best offer, or actually we put this at 50% off and sold it for $17.50. And I believe this was a Salvation Army that was like two or $3 as well. So those Columbia shirts are pretty consistent sellers right around the 15 to 20 mark. Now, J. Jill, this shirt we've had a little while. It's sold. I should have done some more keywords on it, but it sold for a best offer of 15. Um, these have really been dropping. I don't know if you guys have had the same experience. We paid like three or four bucks for this. So it's okay, we sold it for 15, but they've just been going down. I used to get 20 and 25 for J. Jill, but not anymore. Um, Grace in LA, women's jean shorts. These sold for 50% uh, off, $13, and I paid two bucks for them at the Salvation Army half off day. They were originally four. Uh, out of summer, I bought them like a month ago, so a little profit on that. Route 21, we sold this for a best offer of 15. Uh, this was a. Uh, Goodwill Outlet Ben Store purchase. This was probably about a dollar worth of weight. It was originally tagged to 20 bucks. We got 13 for it. Not so bad. Uh, Buzz Lightyear. This came out of the Outlet Ben Store, and it was about a dollar and a half to two dollars at weight. And we took a best offer of 15 on this as well. Ah, there's the $2 video game that came out of the pawn shop. We took a 50% off price on this of $18, and we paid two for it. So 18 after fees and shipping turned into about 13 and we made an $11 profit on one PS2 game. Guys, Dragon Ball Z and anime sell good for PS2. Not all PS2 games are good, but some of them are. Mario Party DS paid uh, 4 or $5 for it. We took... Uh, we took a best offer on this one of like 15, I believe. Not so good because after fees and shipping, we were left with like 11 or 10 and change. So we made like five bucks on it, 550. But eh, I thought Mario Party DS would sell for better. But it was just the cartridge, no box, no manual, no nothing. So And there's a lot of them for sale. But it still sold. We made a little money. So you can see some of our video games selling pretty good. We sold about 10 video games uh, on eBay this weekend. And we sold quite a few on Amazon as well. Um, I may have to do a video on some Amazon update sales. Most of my Amazon sales are video games, though, so it's not too exciting. Um, anyways, that was some of our sales, uh, some of the stuff you just saw me packing up in that crazy video, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that. All right, so that was all the epic crazy packing and shipping done. I pulled all the orders earlier, ran out, and uh, took care of the bank trip that I had to do. I had to withdraw some money. Got a haircut. Can't go on a sourcing trip to the bins tomorrow against somebody if I don't look good. And then, um, yeah, took care of all that kind of stuff. Made myself look fresh. And then now, I'm going to finish packing the second half of the, uh, the items I didn't pack earlier. And then tomorrow when we wake up after a holiday, we'll have no packing to do. Kate can just get on to her listing and uh, we'll be right back in the swing of things. So that's what I recommend you guys do if you have holiday shipping uh, Monday. The post office is closed. Just get all your shipping done on Monday. Take the day to, to get it all done, and then you can get right back to where you were on Tuesday. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed seeing me pack some packages, seeing how to handle the shipping. And uh, I'll be back with you guys Thursday for a live chat. Make sure you tune into that. And uh, maybe we'll do another live show between now and then. We'll see. Uh, but tomorrow is the recorded bin off, taking 25 bucks to the Goodwill Outlet bins. I might spend more because I'm going to be over there, but only $25 counts. Uh, we'll total up all the items that were 25 bucks. We will then um, make a record in the video of all the items I got for the 25 bucks, and then uh, we'll keep track of how they sell, and me and Nicole will do an update down the road, and we'll see who won. So make sure you guys tune into that. Nicole will also have a video for her channel as well. So thanks a lot, guys. Make sure to hit that like button. Uh, share this video if you enjoyed it, and uh, make sure you're subscribed as always. My emails and social media are down in the description box below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.